What's up mages, in this video we are doing another MTG Arena video, but this time we're talking about how to track your win-loss ratio. So first you may be wondering, well, why do I need to track my win-loss ratio? And you're probably only wondering that because you're a newer player. And that's who this video is for. If you're a newer player to MTG Arena and you're kind of wondering, well, why should I track my win-loss ratio? Or you know that you should track it, but you don't know how, we're gonna break that all down in this video for you. So the tool that we're using today and that we're gonna be using to track that you'll use to track is called MTG Arena Assistant. Now this application is great. You get it from Aether Hub. It's a very great app. I've got the link in the description below for you to be able to download it. Very, very easy to go about downloading. And once you have the app on your computer, and again, this does not actually work though for iOS or Android. It only works on PC, okay? So you gotta have it on a PC to be able to use it and play with it. Now, I'm not sure if it works on Mac, but computer, and if you have it on computer, it will work for you. So this is a free app to use. The way they make their money is with ads. And so if you actually let me move my face here, you can see right here is where ads are. You can pay for a premium account if you want to remove those ads. So that's how they make their money and they can give you this free app, which is awesome. And really, if you don't mind the ads um, and you've got a decent computer, then you don't really have to worry about it slowing down your computer or anything. I never noticed any speed issues, even when I was on my older PC before upgrading uh, to the one that I built. So as soon as you get into here, immediately on home, you've got some stuff from content creators once you're logged into the app, events calendar showing up as well. Also up here too, let's talk about this toolbar up top. You've got main, which is our home settings, account sync, premium and about, um, constructed, which breaks us into standard best of one, best of three, standard tournaments, historic best of one, best of three, historic tournaments and brawl. So it actually brings you over when you click on one of those decks, it'll bring you over to the deck list over on Aether Hub so you can check it out. Um, you can export it, compare it, go through each of the cards and so on and be able to see what that looks like. So that's what happens when you actually click on those. And so let me bring this back up here. There we go. Um, and so you can go through, you can see these decks, you can see, you know, it looks into what you have right now inside of your deck. So you'll see right here, it shows missing. So, you know, this is the wild cards that we would need to end up building this deck itself. It also shows you the value of the deck. Um, and you can see the change since last week in percentage um, and, and see what's being used in it. So it's really awesome to be able to see that through there. Same thing with limited things. Here's the stats that you can see for your own decks. Uh, you can see I've had some garbage decks that I built out throughout here, um, but you can check those out. Right now we're only running like a 55% of our white life gain and our Vita life gain as well. Under my stats, you can see my decks, uh, my drafts, my opponents that I've played as well. You can view their deck list too, which is really cool to be able to see uh, what deck list they had. You can view it on Aether Hub. You can copy the deck list. Um, you can see uh, the, the revealed cards, the deck. You get a summary of it. You also get the metagame, you get the statistics. And so it's really awesome to be able to see all of the stuff, you know, that it shows you inside of here, right? And then of course your account, it'll show you where you're at, um, you know, wh what placement you have, how many wins, how many losses, what your win rate is. You can view your collection. So under your collection, you can see exactly what you have. It's got your vault progress on there, how many wild cards you have, um, how much gold, how much gems. You can view craftable decks, which is really, really cool. So you can click that over to deck advisors where it'll take you and it'll start loading these decks. It'll let you know what you have available to craft and then how many wild cards you would need to be able to craft that deck if you don't have that available. So it's processing, we'll let it take its time. Um, you can go to deck compare as well and you can compare decks, wild card crafting. Um, you can see new cards that you recently grabbed. I just got a uh, ICR for Lock Dragon. And then right here under deck advisor, I just went back. So for mono red aggro, I, I need you know eight uh, uncommons, five rares and two mythic rares to end up building this mono red aggro, but it's gone down. So I really wouldn't want to do that. For Yorvo, Lord of Garen Brig, you've got, you know, it'd be five common, five uncommon, seven rares and one mythic. And so you can kind of see these here and what it would take to, to build one of these recommended decks if you wanted to use a net deck. Um, you can also view the ladders, for rank ladders, first mythics, team ladders, and so on. And then we've got other media in here um, that it links to. And it links to creators through here, which is really, really cool to be able to see a lot that happens inside of here, which is great. I mainly stick, though, if you go to main and then you go over to your settings, you can also choose what shows up when you're actually in MTG Arena. 
And so I just had it here set to the basics, um, but you can clear your match logs, clear data as well, clear the cache. If you're running into any issues, you can sync it with your Aetherub account. If you look here, syncing with your Aetherub account gets you the most out of the extension. Enabling the sync will give you access to the following features. Contribute with valuable metagame data to Aetherhub. Appear on Etherhub's ranking ladder, join or create community teams, and having Etherhub Premium removes ads from the extension. So you can get the premium account for $3.20 a month or for $1.20 a month, you get the content creator account. So free for Twitch partners and YouTube channels with 500 subs um, that you can get this for free, which is really cool. So if you've got a YouTube subs above 500, then you get the free premium account uh, or a free content creator account, which is, is pretty awesome. So a lot of information there towards it really though you don't need to worry too much about that especially if you're just like whoa okay that's how i track i'm going to use this app that's great but why should i track it so a couple things go into that i mean really when it comes to it, tracking your win percentage if you're going to be playing and constructed events or you're going to be playing uh constructed rank to try to rank up to be able to then get into you know mythic qualifier and things like that well you want to know what your win rate percentage is for your decks because before you go in there, if you've got like a 40% win rate, then you're not going to really be moving up in the ranks at all, right? If you've got a 50% win rate, okay, well, then you know you're winning one, losing one, winning one, losing one. And you can understand, you know, how long it's going to take you to really rank up and move from bronze to silver to gold to platinum and so on. Um, same goes, though, for going in and playing to farm gold and farm cards from the standard events. If you want to go in and play the standard events, whether it's best of one, best of three, well, it's going to cost you an entry fee of $500 or $1,000 respectively, or $1,000, $500 or 1000 gold respectively. When you go in to do it, you want to know what your win rate percentage is because you need to invest of one, for example, the entry fee is for 500 gold. And since the entry fee is for 500 gold, let's actually just take a look here on my screen. If we take a look over here and let's say that we were going to go and play a standard event, well, that standard event costs us 500 gold, right? So if it's 500 gold on the first win, if we don't win any, we get a hundred back if we win one, we get 200 back. If we win three or win two, we get 300 back. Win four, we get 400 back. And win four, we get our 500 gold back. And we go ahead and get three cards unlocked as well. And so we'll get at least three uncommons when we play up to four wins. So in order to get four wins, though, because at three losses is when you get kicked out of the standard event and you, you know, are then over from that event. Well, in order to make sure that we get those four wins, you want to know what your win rate percentage is so you know if you're going to be able to consistently hit that four and at least get all of your gold back and go what they call infinite and be able to continuously play because you're getting your entry fee back and then you're just milling, you know, or you're just collecting more and more cards, right? Um, and then if you can play up to seven wins, well, then you're getting a thousand gold and you're actually not only getting those cards and farming those cards, but you're also farming some gold as well. So with this app, we're going to know exactly what our win rate percentage is. And we're going to know, you know, if, if we have a good enough percentage to go in and be able to dive in and try to play those standard events and be able to get that those cards and be able to go infinite and just keep entering back in with the entry fee and continue to grab those cards. That'll be really helpful to know, especially when Strixhaven comes out tomorrow. And, um, you know, you're going in, you're trying to get those cards from Strixhaven. If you can go infinite over and over and over again, just being able to entry, grab more cards and so on, well, then you're good. All you got to do is keep playing, right? And then you're just getting those cards. Um, if, though, you've got a 50% win rate, well, you're not going to be able to go infinite in a standard event and what's going to, or even a best of three event, what's going to end up happening is you're going to run out of gold. By that time, you've got to outweigh like, well, did it make sense to buy packs or not? Most of the time, the answer is no, right? But if you know what your win rate is, then you can decide if you're going to go in play those events, or if you're going to go in and try to rank up even more, right, with a certain deck. It, maybe, for instance, you're in a platinum level and you keep uh, playing a 50% ranked deck, and what ends up happening because it's a 50% win rate deck, you're just continuously not ranking up at all and you're getting stuck inside of platinum. So it's important to know what your win rate is. And one of the things you can do to know what that win rate is, is go in and play casual games or play bot matches or just play it in ranked, right? Continuously play it in ranked. Don't go into the events yet, at least with them, so that way you don't waste your gold. But then be able to go in and, you know, play and see what the win rate is, start tracking it, know what your percentage is, because then you can know how often you can go into events and start being able to pull cards out.
So guys, in order to download this app and to get it working and start being able to track your win rate percentage, there's a link down in the description below. That way you can go ahead and download it from Etherhub. I've got that there for you. Just go click on it, download it onto your computer. Once you have it on your computer, install it, open it up. And then every time you open up the MTG Arena app, what's gonna end up ha on your computer, it's gonna end up opening up with it. Let's come down here to the standard rank really quick. We'll grab this Patrician deck, um, one of the decks I've been toying around with and, and building. And we'll play an event really fast and i'll just show you what kind of data pops up on here all right so once we start our game here we can actually see here let me just play this really fast you can see up here in the first in the bottom left hand corner um, we've got us it shows us that what we have out on the battlefield if we click this icon we can see what it is that we have in our deck right now their percentages as well um, we can see what those are we can also click here for the opponent's side and it'll bring it out and it'll just show us whatever they're playing during that time and what they have and so as we play you'll see that these numbers end up changing and it has all of that data here for you so you can get an idea of the deck list and data that's going through there so all of this including the stats are being tracked in the app in the background so you don't really have to worry about using assistant during the game to take a look at these you can however i personally have not really seen it to be necessary to end up using it and so personally I don't use it, but it is something that you can do. So guys, it's very important to make sure that you start tracking your win rate percentage, especially if you want to be able to continuously go infinite inside standard events and be able to enter and not worry about losing any of your gold. Another reason being if you want to make sure that you're not losing on your rankings, you want to make sure you're not playing decks that are 50% win rates or less um, inside the ranking events. And so that's kind of what I did. I got stuck to where I kept grinding backwards in platinum. I was about to be at diamond. I was one notch away in the, from diamond and I was just toying around with decks and just lost my rank so with that guys you want to make sure that you know what the win rate of your decks are that way you know how they'll perform guys i hope this video was helpful to you to help you start being able to track your win rate percentage of course if you have any questions at all make sure to drop them in the comments below and if you're not already subscribed subscribe to the channel i come out with mtg arena content every single day and so make sure you don't miss it like this video hit subscribe and i'll see you in the next one